This tutorial will show the user how to use the Tequila Toolbox for MATLAB and will also provide information on some of the features that come with this toolbox. The MATLAB code is a classical simulation-based pricing model for Asian options. I will now run the code to see how it works on my own PC. I would like to simulate the model with a resolution that will provide me with accurate results. Once I do this, unfortunately, I will need to wait six and a half hours before I can see the effect of any changes in the model parameters, and at the same time, my PC would be busy calculating the results. Because of this, I have limited the resolution of the simulation. Although I don't want to limit the resolution, this is needed if I want to speed up the process. Now, it will only take one and a half minutes. As we can see from the figure, we calculated only a few data points, and the figure has bumps, which means that the results are not accurate. The resolution of our simulation is defined by two factors, the number of data points and how many Monte Carlo trajectories we have decided to calculate in each of the data points. These two variables define how many data points we will calculate in the space of the initial stock price and volatility. This variable defines the number of trajectories in each of the data points. In the low resolution simulation, we have now limited the number of trajectories to 20,000. The Tequila Toolbox for MATLAB can make the parallelization of this model easy. The toolbox is available free of charge to the users of Tequila Distributed Computing Engine. One of the functions included in the toolbox is Cloud4. The syntax is similar to the local 4. Because the syntax is similar, reprogramming the for loop into a cloud for loop is easy. When we have replaced the for with a cloud for, we can run the code simply by clicking the run button as before. When your MATLAB sees the cloud for command, it will call the Tequila toolbox for MATLAB that is in your MATLAB search path. The technology of Tequila Distributed Computing Engine divides the task automatically into jobs that can be executed in parallel. Tequila works automatically. It integrates seamlessly with your MATLAB and takes care of the versioning of components and handling of results without the need to write custom scripts. When you start a simulation, the Tequila Toolbox for MATLAB uses your MATLAB compiler to convert the code to a module that can be executed using your MATLAB runtime. Tequila Distributed Computing Engine configures your system automatically to support the run. When the computational jobs are completed, it returns the results directly to your MATLAB and aggregates them automatically. Cloud4 is a versatile command. It offers many different control parameters that enable advanced features and control of the performance. One of those is known as Callback. Callback has a number of significant benefits. It can be used to specify an operation that will be performed whenever a computational job is completed in the Tequila environment. It enables the real-time processing of results. If we process the results once they become available, we can use the running time efficiently to perform tasks that would otherwise need to be done after the simulation has ended. It can write the results onto a disk instead of storing them to the workplace. This can be useful, especially if a simulation produces a lot of data. By writing the results onto a disk, our MATLAB will not run out of memory and the computer will not become unresponsive. And visualization of a run in real time. Let's add a callback that will provide us real-time view to the simulation. The original code calls refresh data to update the figure when all the data points have been simulated. Let's add a callback that calls refresh data immediately when there are any new results. Let's run the code again. You will notice that the figure updates in real time when the new data becomes available. We have seen how to parallelize the code by the initial stock prices and how to enable a real-time view to the progress of the simulation. There is also another for loop in the code. It is inside the cloud for loop. When we use cloud for, we can then place a cloud for inside another cloud for. As we can see, when we changed the code, Tequila Distributed Computing Engine updated the model in the computing environment automatically. 
Now the simulation is parallelized in two dimensions. More parallelism gives us more scalability. More scalability can enable better performance. Now that the simulation can run faster, we are now able to increase the resolution of the simulation. Let's grow the number of steps from 9 to 18. This gives us four times more data points. And let's run the code again. As we can see, this run used over four times more computing resources, but because Tequila made the parallel simulation scale, the running time was not longer than before. One of the key ideas of Tequila Distributed Computing Engine is to enable fast and scalable simulation without the complexity of traditional high-performance computing. The technology of Tequila can parallelize the simulation automatically. When we start a simulation, Tequila Distributed Computing Engine will estimate how many simulation steps in a job gives a good parallel performance. However, a more advanced user may want to override the automation and define the number of simulation steps per job manually. In this slow motion replay of the simulation, we can see that the figure updates in rectangles. This means that Tequila has chosen to simulate several volatility steps in each computational job. In some cases, defining the number of simulation steps per job manually can benefit the throughput or benefit the user's workflow. There is another Cloud4 control parameter for this. Steps per job defines the number of simulation steps in each job. Let's add that to the code for both Cloud4s. Now, the figure updates in squares. Once the user gets more experience on Tequila Distributed Computing, Steps per job gives the user control over how the system parallelizes the simulation and enables optimization of the performance for maximum throughput. Adding more data points to the simulation was useful. It shows visually that our results are inaccurate. This is because of too small a number of Monte Carlo trajectories. The surface of the figure should not be rough. So far, we have calculated only 20,000 Monte Carlo trajectories in each of the data points. 10 to 20 times more trajectories would give us better results. For reliable results, we need to calculate 50 times more trajectories. We can use the Tequila Distributed Computing Engine to parallelize this too. First, we need to decide how we would like to calculate the Monte Carlo trajectories. We will define a new variable for this. Let's call it capital MN. We can now grow the number of Monte Carlo trajectories to 1 million. Because we will calculate this in MN parts, we need to divide M by MN. Then we add Cloud4 around the function that calculates the price. This Cloud4 calls the Monte Carlo function MN times and sums the results using the sum control parameter. Since we have divided the Monte Carlo operation by MN, we need to divide also the function by MN. We can now run the code again. When we use sum along with the callback that provides the real-time visualization, we can see how the results of the Monte Carlo simulations stabilize along with more data. When we have enough data, the initial rough surface will then become a smoother surface that won't contain any bumps. Using sum along with real-time visualization can be a useful feature also in your own applications. If you are running a big simulation, you can decide when the quality of the results looks good. When the results are good, you can stop the simulation there and save time. In this tutorial, we have seen how Tequila Distributed Computing Engine can speed up a computationally intensive MATLAB simulation without having to take the risks that follow from inaccurate low-resolution simulations. Using Tequila made it possible to run a six and a half hour long accurate simulation in just one and a half minutes. This is the same time that we had to wait for the low-resolution run to finish. We have seen how to use the Cloud4 function that is included in the Tequila toolbox for MATLAB, callback feature for Cloud4 to process the results in real time, Cloud4 for the parallelization of nested for loops, and the features that Cloud4 offers for control of parallelization and optimization of the throughput of the system. In the final step, 
we got an overview of the possibilities that can be achieved by further parallelization. In addition to the features that we have been shown in this tutorial, Tequila Distributed Computing Engine also provides many other great features. These include fault-tolerant scaling without the need to manage resource pools. The possibility to free your own computer gives you the possibility to focus on other work after starting a run. The simulation of interconnected models without having to use MPI programming. These features and more are presented in the Tequila Distributed Computing Engine with MATLAB User Guide.